Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So let's start with the discussion. Uh, can you tell me how to create an immutable class in Java? Uh, yes. To create the immutable class, you have to mark all the variables as final and uh, you have to mark the class as final. And uh, after that, you have to provide constructor. And in the constructor, you have to get all the arguments and set your instance variable from the uh, constructor. And uh, finally, you have to provide only getters for that class. You don't have to provide setters for the class. So this way you can uh, make your class immutable. Now, okay, fine. Uh, do you know collections in Java? Uh, yes, I know collections. So what are the collections which you have used in your project? Uh, I have used uh, array list, uh, link list, hash map, hash set. Okay. What is hash map? Hash map uh, can store your key value pair. So it has a key and it has a value and you can uh, have an association between key and value. Oh, this can be represented using hash map. Okay. Do you know how it stores key value pair? Yes. So uh, it, it uses a technique known as uh, hashing. So whenever you uh, try to add something into your hash map or, or try to put something into your hash map, it calculates the hash code for that key. And uh, based on the hash code, uh, it tries to identify the bucket in which uh, that key is going to be uh, stored. So suppose there is a key, uh, example Raj, and the, the hash map is 20. So there is a mechanism uh, for identifying the bucket for this 20 hash code and Raj will be stored in that bucket. So this is how it is stored in internally in the hash map. Okay. What if there are multiple keys with the same hash code? What will happen where that particular uh, key value pair will be stored? Okay. So uh, this condition is known as collision where uh, you have uh, multiple keys with the same hash code and all those keys uh, go into the same bucket, but uh, internally hash map creates a link list. So in that bucket, a link list will be created and all three values will be stored in that link list. So your bucket will have link list and all the keys which have the same hash code will be in that link list. So can you tell me, is there any way or how can we reduce the collision? Uh, yes. To reduce the collision, uh, you have to write uh, good hash functions. So you have to write logic in the hash code such that it should try to return unique hash code for each and every key. It shouldn't uh, return the same hash code uh, for multiple keys. So you can write a good function, hash function uh, to reduce the amount of collision. Okay. Let us consider you are trying to retrieve the key value pair from your hash map. But all these entries are residing in single bucket. You said that uh, it is forming link list, right? So how in this case, how it retrieves a specified key value pair? Correct. Okay. So in this case, uh, consider an example, there is a bucket. Uh, and in that bucket, we have three keys stored in a link list. And now uh, we want to retrieve the value. So now user is trying to get the value from the hash map. In that case, uh, first thing it will do is it will go and get the hash code of that bucket. So based on the hash code, it will identify the bucket. And it will go and see there are three items in the link list. Now it will try to uh, use the equals method and try to compare all the object with the given object. So it will compare the first object. If equals written false, then it will go to the second object. And suppose the second object equals method written true, then hash map will return this value to the user. So it will make use of equals method when there are multiple objects in the link list. Okay. Do you know serialization? Uh, yes, I know serialization. I've used uh, serialization in my project. So it is basically um, converting your object into a byte stream. So you have objects, suppose person, and uh, you want to convert this object to the byte stream. In that case, I will use uh, the concept of serialization. Okay. And what is serial version UID? Serial version uh, UID is uh, a unique identifier which uh, is used. Suppose there is a class, a uh, person class, and person class has name, person class has uh, age, and person class has qualification. These are the three fields. So based on uh, the type uh, and the metadata of the class, a serial version UID is created. And uh, 
suppose if you want to serialize an object, so at that time the serial version UID is one two three, and you serialize the object, and later when you try to deserialize your object, so it will check uh, whether the serial version ID is still same or different, and if it is different, then there will be an exception while deserializing. But if the serial version UID is same, then there won't be any exception, and your object will be deserialized correctly. So what is meant by deserialize? Deserialization is converting your byte stream back to the object representation. So uh, your byte stream is generally uh, stored in a in a file or is sent across the network. And when you want object back into the heap from that byte stream, you can achieve this using uh, deserialization. Okay. Okay, uh, I have shared something in the chat box. Can you open it and paste it into Notepad? Okay, so let me check. Uh, yeah, I have okay. added this in the Notepad. No, okay. So can you try to guess what will be the output of this program? Mm, okay, so let me go through the program. We have a class no. uh, test. We have a static uh, integer counter, and then we have a void and test so this this acts acts as a method because uh, it has a return type so method always has a return type though the name is same this will be acting as a method and then uh, we have a constructor uh, which is a parameterized constructor and in the main you are trying to create an object test uh, t test t equal to new test so you are trying to refer to the default constructor but the default constructor is not present in the class so i guess this will be a compiler error because we don't have default constructor we have a method instead of default constructor so it will return a uh, it will it will give you compiler error while compiling the um, program no okay okay fine i'm done from my side do you have any question uh no i don't have any questions thank you